Today is an exciting day because I've got the latest device from OnePlus, the OnePlus 5T. Ooh, never settle. Look at the cut, look at the pictures in here. All right, here we go. It's made out of anodized aluminum, oxygen OS-based Android 7.1.1, Snapdragon 835, Adreno 540 GPU, eight gigs of RAM, DDR4X, storage is 64 or 128 gigabytes, 3300 milliamp hour battery with the dash charge quick charge, Bluetooth 5.0, NFC enabled, six inch 1080p display with the 18 by nine aspect ratio, and it's also got 2.5D Gorilla Glass 5. Holy smokes. Smokes. All right, so it looks like I've got the Midnight Black 128 gigabyte version. Not complaining about that particular option. Ooh. So the first thing here is the device. How about that unboxing experience with the little tray there? Very slick, aluminum build, dual camera system up here, NFC sensor in this location. Moving around the rest of the device, we have a headphone jack. So if you want to protect that high-end set of headphones, you're still golden. USB Type-C connector, your power and lock switch, got your mute switch there, volume rocker up and down, and I like the minimal branding, just the subtle little OnePlus symbol there. Okay, also in this box, we have, oh, another case. SIM tool, quick start guide, the good old fashioned SIM one, SIM two tray, what seems to be a very high quality charge cable. This plugs into the dash charger. So OnePlus claims that with this brick here and a half hour charge, you can get a day's worth of battery. Ooh, should we do the face data? Move it a little closer, look at that. So it gives you like a little outline of where to put your face, ears and whatnot, and then it just scans it. So unlike on iOS where you're kind of doing this action, you just line it up and it grabs it. Okay, let's try, let's say it's on the table. It's locked. Whoa! That is, uh, that's quite quick, I must say. Let's try the fingerprint, and this is your usual setup here. So let's give that a shot now. That might be even faster than your face. So you have a locked device, you pull it out of your pocket, the payment terminal is over there, and in one kind of motion, you just unlock it and kaboom. Now, the display is the next thing you probably noticed. This is AMOLED. You just get a lot more contrast. It has this kind of appearance of being super close to the surface. The OS here, it has a few tweaks to it, but ultimately it's a very close to stock Android experience. Though when you pull over to the side, it's a little bit different over here on the left pane. By default, you have a memo option, some recent contacts, recent apps, and then a dashboard, which can show you some details about your phone, like available storage, battery life, and data remaining on a data plan. Now, you probably have a lot of questions about the camera, specifically the portrait mode. Now, I believe in order to enter the portrait mode, you swipe over, shoot with portrait to help the subject stand out. So what it's gonna attempt to do is isolate the subject in the foreground from the background. And I can move him even a little closer. And it does so automatically and identifies it with this depth effect icon down on the bottom. It did kind of well with the action figure. That's kind of nice. Da, da, da. This is going to probably be a better example. It did a pretty good job on the edge. Now, she obviously doesn't have ears, but it did a pretty decent job. Now, if I head back to the standard camera mode, this is where you can engage for the secondary lens. We can go ahead and zoom in and we can drag the icon to continue even further, as you can see there. I'll give you guys a look there so you can get a sense for the quality of our favorite green plant. Oh, and the specialty Coca-Cola. And then of course, the camera mode, and we'll go all the way up to 4K, and we'll do a quick little test. The 4K 30 FPS setting on the OnePlus 5T. Little autofocus there, shifted. I'll grab this guy. And as usual, say hi to Jack. The camera also features a pro mode if you really want to dive in there. But the ISO readout, shutter speed, you can see if it's a level shot or not. We can change ISO away from auto, our white balance, shutter, manual focus mode, and even the ability to shoot raw. Of course, it's also got a front facing camera. The selfie test kicks off in three, two, one, that is a selfie cam, whoa. Like specks of dust on the sweatshirt. All right, cool, so far so good. Now, of course you know 
I gotta test the speakers. To protect you from laptop hacking, I think Jack needs one of these. They gave us a Canada one. Team USA? Holy smokes, thinner than I expected. It's a down firing speaker. All right, this is kind of the status quo. The upside here is you have the headphone jack. Now, of course, they've got the unique slider for silencing. This actually has three stop points. Silent, do not disturb, ring, do not disturb, silent. Very nice. All right, nice little touch. Something special, something unique. Since we have all the cases here, I thought might as well do a case fashion show while we're at it. So let's go ahead and try some of these out. The Rosewood bumper case. Not bad. Next up, the Sandstone protective case. This one has that kind of gritty, grippy feel to it. The ebony wood bumper case. The construction will be like the other one here. We have the silicone protective red and also the easiest to get on. And last up is the one I'm most excited for. The carbon bumper case contains DuPont Kevlar fiber, and that's your look. And this concludes the OnePlus 5T impromptu case fashion show. So there you have it, the 5T, the latest device from OnePlus. Let me know down in the comments, what do you guys think about it? Could this be your next phone?